So let's talk about career paths and options. If you're taking this course, you know, and the goal is to pass the admin certification for the Salesforce platform. And once you have that certification, there's a lot of different opportunities that are, that are out there. And this particular lecture is designed to broaden the horizons so that you realize that it's not just Salesforce administrators that get hired with the certification. It's also a prerequisite for other certifications, but additionally, there's a lot of different jobs out there that sometimes will have this particular certification as a requirement. So the admin certification serves as a baseline or foundation that establishes a certain level of experience and knowledge that you have on the Salesforce platform. And once you've exemplified that experience and knowledge, you have a lot of different options as far as a career path goes and jobs that you could potentially fill. The, the most obvious one would be that of a Salesforce administrator, and there's a lot of jobs out there for administrators. In addition to that, I've seen jobs for data analysts, and that would be around running reports and creating reports and dashboards, things that have to do with analytics, and you usually see this admin certification coupled with some Excel experience, for instance, or maybe some SQL. So if you have a background and experience with Excel, and especially if you have some SQL experience, then you may want to hone in on a data analyst path and really focus on the reports and dashboards pieces of this course. And once you're certified as well, there's a lot of data analyst jobs that you can find. There's also a path you can take that's called, in Salesforce parlance, it's called implementation specialist. And these have to do with the consultant exams. And so this administrator certification is a prerequisite for the Sales Cloud Consultant and Service Cloud Consultant exams, which I mentioned previously. And so if your end goal is to be a consultant and work on the platform, you've got to get this exam out of the way and passed. And then you can do things like help implement Salesforce with companies. A lot of times companies will buy Salesforce, they'll buy their licenses, and then they're stuck with, well, now what? How do we get this running in our organization? And so they will uh, hire out a Salesforce partner that specializes in implementation to get them off the ground and running. And so you could find yourself uh, very needed within those partner companies as well. Additionally, I've seen people with this administrator certification that serve the role of a business analyst. These are individuals that will gather requirements, set up meetings with subject matter experts. They'll create what are called user stories and they will gather the requirements to then hand off to developers and administrators to then uh, build the solution on the platform. So if you have a firm understanding of the platform, if you have the certification, that goes a long way in knowing what the platform can and can't do and what are good candidates for the platform and what should be leveraged through other solutions as well. I've also run into people that have this certification that serve as a project manager. And a lot of times on Salesforce related projects that I've worked on as either an administrator or a developer, in addition to the business analysts that I've spoken about earlier, I've seen project managers that also have a really good understanding of the platform. And an effective project manager is someone that can manage people, can meet deadlines, can, you know, usually will know some sort of project management software and familiar with you know keeping a budget and keeping things on schedule and it's real helpful as far as Salesforce projects relate to have a team of individuals and ideally you want a project manager you want a business analyst and you want a developer or two or five or whatever and for the day-to-day -day operations you want one or two administrators to handle uh, things like provisioning user accounts deactivating users creating reports dashboards loading data, that sort of thing. Other job possibilities that are available to you once you've attained this certification would be marketing manager. I've worked with marketing managers that have the admin certification and they've really focused in on the campaign side of things. A campaign it would be a marketing campaign where they're tracking their leads and sending emails through the Salesforce platform and there's a lot of functionality on the back end of that that you can do through either third-party applications such as Eloqua or a native Salesforce applications such as Exact Target or Pardot. Other jobs that I've run into, people serving on the platform 
with this certification would be technical pre-sales engineer. This is someone that would be familiar with the Salesforce platform and would be uh, assisting a salesperson that's you know going to a client site or doing a demo. And the pre-sales engineer is someone that would set up a new Salesforce instance and set up specific objects and page layouts and certain views so that it's relatable to the client that they're trying to sell to. So that if you're trying to sell to a telecom company, you have telecom related verbiage on the page layouts and, and potentially even some of their accounts set up and loaded up and, and that sort of thing so that you're not trying to you know sell a telecom customer and you've got a dairy farm for the example you know that helps bring success having this certification if sales is more your route and you want to kind of help co-facilitate that a technical pre-sales engineer could be the way to go additionally i've seen sales managers I've seen people that have gone on to become developers, and that's a real common thing is that, and that's kind of the path that I took because I wasn't a traditional developer in the sense that I couldn't code in my sleep. I knew how to do HTML, but I didn't know Java or Ruby or anything like that. And so my introduction to object-oriented concepts and being able to now code came through first learning how to do the declarative side of things on the Salesforce platform. And I personally got my developer certification first and then went back and got the admin and advanced admin certifications. But in the ideal scenario, you want to get the admin certification first so that you know what can be done declaratively rather than with code. And that makes you a better developer in the end. So if you're ultimately wanting to be a developer, this uh, administrator certification is valuable in that it helps you know a lot of the things that aren't covered on the developer side of things. There's things that are glossed over or not you won't be strong in if you skip the admin side of things like security the profiles and roles and that sort of thing so additionally there's a whole area around being a technical architect and salesforce is branching that out for a lot of different areas because this gets into really deep in the technical side of things and so they've got levels of certifications now for domain specialist and then domain architect, and then finally technical architect. Hopefully this gives you an idea that um, you've got a lot of options. And, you know, I wanted to spend a little time going over this so you see that you're not necessarily going to use this certification just to be an administrator. And if that's what you want to do, that's fine. It, you know, being an administrator is a full-time job. And usually once a Salesforce org has 75 to 100 users, they need a full-time resource to maintain the platform and troubleshoot and take care of, of issues as they arise. And so that's that's definitely, I think, the vast majority of people, that's the job that they feel when they get the certification. But there's a lot of people out there that go on to do other things. And so I think the main key is that this course covers the foundation. And then from there, you know, just exposing you to different opportunities that are out there and you'll you'll find your way. You'll your passion will lead you and where you ultimately need to end up because this platform is so massive and ever changing that no one person can know it all. The longer I go on the platform, the more I realize I don't know. And so you you've got to find a specialty and a niche on the platform and you can support a you know a highly profitable career working in just a specific niche of the platform, whether that's admin or developer or architect, technical pre-sales engineer or whatever. Any one of those, you'll have recruiters bugging you to death. So it's a good problem to have. It's a good time to be on the platform. So the goal for you is, for right now, is just get the foundation laid and then let your passion guide you from there.